I'd just like to say that I think it's very important that we that we really get to know Jesus. And I know that sounds trite, maybe to some corny. <laughs> I can tell you right now that back in 1977-78 I had something called Crohn's disease. You can look it up, you can Google it. It's a really nasty disease. It attacks your stomach and your small intestine, your large intestine. And I had it really bad. I got down to about 111 pounds. My skin was yellow. And I was taking so many medicines. Uh, you know, I could take my skin and pinch it and the skin would just stay there. It had no elasticity. So when a Dallas surgeon suggested that I have surgery, I said, yeah, why not? So I'm laying there on the gurney. They're fixing to take me to surgery. I'm halfway knocked out with sedation. And two orderlies come by, and I must have been smiling, I guess. One of them said, hey, what the heck is he smiling about? Well, <laughs> I was smiling because either I was going to die and go to heaven or the operation would be successful and that way I would li you know, live. And Jesus has helped me so many ways. After two divorces I was pretty down at the bottom of the barrel. And then I met Erlinda. And she's a really good Christian woman. And we go to church here in the Philippines now. Everything is great, but there's so many people out there that don't have Jesus. And honestly, and I'm not trying to, you know, sound condescending, but I, I feel sorry for them. I do. I wish everybody could just, just, you know, open up their heart to Jesus because I really believe the world is coming to an end soon as in real soon and so if all the things about heaven and hell in the Bible are true of course I think they are we really need to all be turning our lives around that's it